would you like to be one of these success cases? Okay, because what we're seeing is that a lot of people are able to make uh, very quickly, very dramatic changes in their lives. So what I'd like to do is just say a few words about how things work with our, with our training program. Um, the basic certification, we call it a recognized practitioner. So we're not measuring your ability to pass a written test. We're validating that you're actually applying personal agility. Um, there are three levels. Um, the first level is a recognized enthusiast. And so we will, what we wanted to do was offer something for people who don't take a class. Um, so, you know, read the book, apply personal agility, apply for the recognition. We have a coaching call. Um, you become a recognized enthusiast. Um, the practitioner requires that you take a course with us um, because, you know, here we emphasize the coaching skills that go with it. You learn to use all the tools, um, but you also develop the coaching schools. Uh, and then finally, we have the recognized ambassadors, and these are the people who are authorized to teach and share uh, the personal agility system. Okay, so <clears throat> why would you want one of these things? Well, basically what the recognized enthusiast says is that you're good at getting things done. Um, you're good at focusing on the right things, okay? And particularly if you're, you know, kind of at the start of your career and you're going into an agile shop, uh, even if you don't know Scrum or Kanban, you'll find that these things are quite natural to you and can come easily. Um, the recognized practitioner knows how to use all of the tools that we've discussed, but also knows how to, you know, has an introduction into coaching and powerful questions with this context of what really matters so they can focus on business goals, um, you know, overcome obstacles and fears and challenges um, using the techniques of servant leadership to build alignment and their own influence in the organization. Okay. Um, and then finally, the, the recognized ambassadors, these are people who are skilled at working with people, activating teams or energizing teams to solve problems. Um, obviously, they have the, you know, they're authorized to pass on the personal agility system to um, other practitioners. And, you know, you're part of an international community to develop the body of knowledge. Okay. Um, for the point of view of an individual, why would you want one of these certifications? Well, you know, I think that, that um, the recognized enthusiast is really for students and self-starters. Um, you know, we wanted to avoid the trap of some certifications that require that you take a class, especially because this is a very doing-oriented certification. Um, what we're seeing with a recognized practitioner is, is this, we expect this to be a very useful um, certification. Um, First of all, as a gateway to agility for executives and other people in an agile transition. One of the problems that executives have is that they, well, two problems. First, they've never actually worked at a delivery team, so the, the whole value of agility isn't really obvious to them. And the second is they have to lead companies through transitions, leading them to a place that they've never actually been themselves. And so how do you do that? Well, this lets the executive learn the principles of agility, apply them, and then be able to actually share them from a position, you know, from an authentic position of knowing how they work and knowing their benefit. Um, we also see this at the level of team leaders and managers who are trying to find their place. Uh, what they've been told is the way that they were taught to lead doesn't work anymore, but they literally don't know how to lead in an agile context, okay, because this requires servant leadership. This is, this is energizing a group uh, to solve a problem rather than telling a group of people what to do. Um, scrum masters and agile coaches have a slightly different problem. The scrum masters know what they have to do, but they don't necessarily know how to do it. So again, personal agility gives them the tools, um, you know, to, to, you know, have conversations with the team so that they can really develop the teams. Um, the problem agile coaches have is they know how to get people to, they know how to ask people questions and powerful questions, but they don't necessarily have that business focus that comes from what really matters. And so, you know, a lot of coaches tend to focus too much on people's navels and not, and not enough on, on business results. And obviously there's a bit of a balance here to be found, but that's what the what really matters is all about. Um, and again, anybody who's dealing with stakeholders uh, needs to know how to be able to build alignment with stakeholders. So product owners, business managers, uh, project managers, and business analysts. And finally, we think because of the problem-solving skills that these people will have, uh, we think that this is going to be a valued certification if you're looking for a new job or if you're looking for a promotion. Okay, so that's kind of a you know overview of what we're doing and why we're doing it. Um, at this point, I want to thank you for the time that you've taken. 
I think what we can do is uh, say, if you'd like to open your, your core refreshments, now would be the time to do it. And uh, I will hang around and answer questions for as long as you'd like to ask, ask them.